Hi guys, my name is Cindy, and this video is gonna show you how you can rename different courses, how you can reorder them, and then how you can do a couple of other settings that are gonna make your life a little bit easier when you're working in Canvas. So I'm in as a student, and you can see he's got a number of courses. But one of the things that I think that gets confusing is sometimes the way we've named our courses. So ELA 7 Meyer 0301, that doesn't really mean a whole lot to you. So you, as a student, have the ability to give a nickname to each of your courses. Now, I'm not gonna mess up his courses, but I'm gonna use this Sandbox course, which is a play course that we created and shared with him. This can work in any of your courses. So once you're signed in, you're gonna click the three dots, and you see there's a spot right here that says nickname. So I'm just going to rename this Playground Course. But if you think about it, you could go in and you could name that science first period, math second period, huddle third period, or something like that to make it easier for you. So when I hit apply, it's gonna change the name. By the way, I'm in here right now, so I could pick a different color that I wanted to use on this, and I can have my name and hit apply. And that's just gonna change the look of it just a little bit. Now, if I wanted to move them into a different order, it's super easy. I click, I drag, and there it goes. I'm gonna move it back because I don't wanna mess up his courses. Another thing I wanna show you is that you can go to these three dots up here and you can change your view from the card view to the list view. If you'd rather see things that are due right now, I don't really like this one as much. I like the card view, so I'm gonna stick it back to that. If any of your courses happen to have pictures here instead of just a colored card and they kind of look washed out, then you could come to the three dots and you could uncheck color overlay and then that's gonna make that picture really pop. In this case, he doesn't have any courses that the teacher set up a color or an image on, so it's okay. The last thing I'm going to show you is how you can hide some of these courses because there might be some that no one's ever using and you just don't wanna see them right here. Over on the left-hand side, you click Courses, and you go down to All Courses. What you're gonna see here is Andrew has every single one of these filled in with an orange square. That means they're all gonna show up on that home page. But if he only wanted a few to show, he could deselect some of these courses. And let's say he only wants to leave ELA and the Sandbox course. Now when he goes to the, his dashboard, there's no save. <gasps> That's all he sees, so it really cleans up the look. So again, to show them or not show them on the dashboard, go Courses, All Courses, and then just fill in the star for whichever courses you want to show up on the dashboard, hit Dashboard, and it goes right back there. So I hope this helps make your Canvas homepage a little bit easier to manage. 